uh, motion 156 uh, to be moved by the Donamede branch, uh, Dublin North East. Um, thank you, Chairperson. Brian McDowell, Donamede branch, um, Dublin North East constituency. Um, you may well have read about it, you may well have seen it on the television, but let me put some facts together about Priory Hall and let me put them on the, on the floor this morning if I can. Six months ago, I went to the High Court and listened to the Chief Fire Officer of Dublin City Council tell the President of the High Court that the Priory Hall Apartments, an apartment block now built in 2006, these aren't 100 years old, these are only built in 2006, the Chief Fire Officer saying that within three or four minutes, these apartments could be engulfed in flames. Now, the residents that were there, and I must say I was ab absolutely shocked to say in three or four minutes they would, they, they would be gone. The, the President of the High Court, the first thing he says, well, we need to get them out. We need to evacuate the, 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 the residents. So we had to go back and tell the residents that within a couple of days you need to move everything out. 187 apartments, you need to move your belongings out into the nearest hotel. These residents are now in a NAMA, particularly the owner-occupiers are now in NAMA uh, apartments. And in, on the 24th of April this month, the Supreme Court, Dublin City Council are going to the Supreme Court to look to overrule a ruling of the High, the high Court that the, the, the Council are liable for the costs, for the accommodation costs of Priory Hall residents. So what we might have on the 24th of April, colleagues, is people having to pay a mortgage on a property they can't live in through no fault of their own and to pay accommodation costs and rent on an AMA apartment. That's what the people of Priory Hall and the residents of Priory Hall are facing. I would like to ask at this stage that the banks, the financial institutions, freeze the mortgages of the Priory Hall residents until we can reach a solution. And I'd, I'd like your support for that. <laughs> well, colleagues, and I know we're short of time, so I, I, I'm going to move on. We do need to find out what went wrong. Why on earth this was allowed to happen? As I said, this isn't 100 years ago. This is a few years ago. People bought apartments in good faith. They trusted the people who signed off on these apartments. And from architects to, to the council themselves, to the state and to the builder, we need to find out so this doesn't happen again. So we, I, I would ask for an inquiry, whether it be public or anything else, but we need an inquiry to ensure that we learn from this mistake. If there's legislation changes needed, that we go in and we enact them. We're now in government. We now need to use that power to make sure these things don't happen again. Thank you, Chairperson. Formally seconded.